Now to an interview you will only see on CBS 13. We're hearing directly from Sacramento Councilman Sean Lololi a day after federal agents raided two of his businesses. He spoke with our Steve Lard saying he will not step down from his council seat. Have you been told about the likelihood of any charges? Has the federal agents communicated the likelihood that any charge could be coming your way? Nothing. Uh, and again, uh, this is an ongoing case. My attorneys are the ones that are uh, involved, but as of today that I'm talking to you, absolutely nothing. We're going to have much more from this interview coming up tonight on the CBS 13 News at 10. Let's go to mm -hmm. CBS 13 Shante Passmore now with more on the allegations and the growing calls for Lalohi to step down. Shante? Yeah, as you know, the embattled city leader's term so far is steeped with controversy. The concern with his legal and business woes taking center stage, he'll be unable to be about the people's business. The doors are open at Viva Supermarket, but business is not back to normal. On Thursday, federal and state agents raided businesses belonging to council member Sean Lalowe. The city leader faces unfair labor practice allegations from a civil suit involving his stores. Cell phone video captures what may be the beginning of the claims crossing from civil to criminal investigations. They've been told not to uh, speak because they are material witnesses. Labor activist Maria Grijalva says she's been working closely with the employees, advocating on their behalf with the feds. Allegations include unfair compensation, hiring underage workers, and retaliation. The Department of Labor did force Lalowe to pay back wages, warning him to not ask employees for reimbursement. An employee reportedly did so using a money order. When he was warned not to do that, they told him it will be a criminal matter if you do that. And, and that's where I think it stems. I don't know how anyone who's under investigation five, by five different governmental agencies, four of which are federal investigations, can can do their job effectively. Across the city, resignation calls are growing by the minute. Within Lalowe's District 2, there's evidence of trust being broken. I'm pretty sure it'll slide like everything else slides around here. And that's the other part of this story, too. There are many constituents who are feeling with all of this happening in the backdrop that the needs of District 2 will not be met. So on Monday, there will be a community rally scheduled demanding for him to step down immediately. Shante, thank you.